Are you happy with your life? Are you happy with your behavior? Are you happy with your emotions? Are you happy with your thoughts? Well, what we need to appreciate is that we are currently experiencing what we are experiencing because of the interpretations we've given to circumstances in our life. As you know, life gives us things that we do not expect. Life throw curveballs to us. And it's not about what life gives us. It's rather how we respond to circumstances. Whatever we do, however we think, will significantly affect how we feel. Our thoughts and feelings are interrelated. If we allow our thoughts to be negative, if we allow our thoughts to be limiting, the way we feel is going to be negative. And when our feelings are negative, the way we behave is also going to be negative. And because of our behavior, we will get the results that we are currently getting. So before you can analyze as to what is happening in your life, ask yourself, how did it all come about? Because the starting point is the interpretation of the situation when you were making a decision. Let's say, for instance, something happens in your life. Or maybe somebody sends a rude message that you do not appreciate. You've got a choice. You've got a choice to interpret that message in a way that will make you feel negative to a point where your behavior will also be negative. You've got a choice to remain calm and try and interpret a situation differently, reconceptualizing your thoughts. You might ask yourself, why is this person sending me this rude message? What is it that this person might be going through? How best can I behave? What is it that I can do that I'll be proud of five years from now? two years from now, and even right now. We need not think that we are a victim of our thoughts. We've got the right to choose. When we receive a message, when somebody tries to throw a monkey towards you, you've got a choice. Because your choice that you are going to make based on how you interpret the situation is going to affect how you feel. And the way you feel will affect your behavior and your behavior would result in your current life realities. So whenever you feel unsatisfied with your current life's realities, ask yourself, what behaviors led to this now? What emotions influenced the behavior and what thoughts influence the emotion which in turn triggered the behavior because this all is related your thoughts influence your emotions your emotions influence your behavior and your behavior will take you to your current life realities so what does this mean you can choose control over how you want to live your life regardless of what happens around you you cannot decide how people react towards you. You cannot decide over situations and circumstances which are beyond your control, the things which are not within your control, but rather you can choose how you look at it. You can choose how you respond to it because this is where your freedom lies. Between a stimulus and a response, there is a gap. And in that gap, it is your freedom of choice. How then do you exercise your right to choose? Are you always a victim of your thoughts? Are you always a victim of what people do or say? Remember what you said previously in other videos. What people do and what people say, you can choose to ignore. What people say about you, which you don't agree to, is none of your business. Do not make people's negative opinions. Do not make people negative comments to matter in your life. You can choose 
how you respond. You can choose how much energy you give to any situation. For you to develop a positive mindset, for you to develop a growth mindset, it all starts with changing your thoughts. It all starts with reconceptualizing the negative experiences that you have experienced in the past, changing them, looking at the situation through a different lens, changing your frame of reference. The situation might be the same, However, you might choose to look at it differently. And that is when your liberation will happen. When you choose to look at a challenging situation with a different set of eyes, that is where now you are going to change your mindset. No one is going to change your mindset for you. It's entirely up to you. No one is going to force you. It's entirely up to you. The question is, how is your mindset? Is your mindset positive? Are you having a growth mindset? Or are you a person who is always negative and very difficult to be around? You know those kind of people that you spend two hours with them and it feels like you spent two days? Those people that you cannot wait to leave their presence. Where are you and who are you? Are you pleasant? Do you give positive energy when people are around you? Are, are you always negative? Are you always finding faults? Are you always talking about others? Are you always talking down on other people's decisions? Because if that is you, then you need to change your thoughts. What thoughts are causing you to behave the way you do? We know that our thoughts are significantly influenced by our core beliefs. So in the next video, let's talk about how thoughts come about. Because unless we can understand how our thoughts come about, because it's our thoughts that influence our emotions and our emotions drive behavior and our behavior results in our current realities. It only then makes sense for us to see how our thoughts came about. See you in the next video. Well, this is your self mastery channel where we work towards becoming the best and better versions of ourselves. If you like this, please feel free to share with your friends and family and click the subscribe button so that you do not miss on our amazing discussion as we walk on this journey of changing and helping one person one day at a time. My name is Rachel Negati and I am your life coach.